any break coming Ooh. soon from this heat. It's it's really tough out there. It is and it's going to be tough for the next couple days. Luckily, though, I've been looking at the data. I think by the first week of August, we are going to get a break from the heat Ooh. wave, but we do have some tough days to get through just like what's going on outside this afternoon. Take a look out in Murfreesboro right now. Temperatures are in the low 90s. You've got some nice puffy clouds, the signs of summer. Those clouds really aren't producing a whole lot as far as rainfall goes today to help cool us down. All right, so 92 is a temperature from our camera there. Take a look at the heat index though with the humidity at play. 104 is what we're really feeling like there in the borough. 101 is our feel like temperature in Dixon, Columbia. It is steamy. It's feeling like a sauna outside at 110 for your feel like temperature. Again, we're not doing a whole lot as far as rain goes. Nashville, we touched 95 briefly within the last hour, but we had a little shower and storm that came through downtown. It was a little storm that was doing as much as it could. It's now fizzled out as it moved down into Williamson County, so no rain across Davidson at the moment, but it did briefly cool us back to those lower 90s. I want to show you what's going on on radar. As I zoom this out, you notice you're really not seeing a whole lot, but I can pick out these little green lines. Look at it from Lafayette back towards Jackson County. You see that right there? It's what we call an outflow boundary. It is the remnants of thunderstorms that have died in the cool air that's pushing out from them. Got a couple of those outflow boundaries right now in Franklin. You see that little green line right there pushing down towards 840. As that moves across you, you're going to see some wind, some briefly cooled air because of it. They might also produce a couple more showers and thunderstorms south of 40 as they continue to make their way further down. Looking towards Lewisburg, we've got a couple of isolated cells right along I-65 and 31A. Same story just south of Lawrenceburg. You have to really squint to see these dots on your radar. We are looking at a shower right around Highway 43 there. Now through exact track, same story for tonight. We may get a couple of more isolated, very widespread, uh, not widespread showers and storms through the rest of the evening, but it's not going to be very much. And we also start to see things winding down by Wednesday. Tomorrow we're not going to get any rain. The heat is on. Temperatures are going to make it into the mid 90s tomorrow with feel like temperatures around the Tennessee River once again pushing close to 100. Thursday is going to be the hottest day. We will see that humidity at play again. Feel like temperatures from 100 to 105. Now we're also going to flirt with 100 degrees on Thursday, something we have not done since 2012. If we did that, it would break a more than 3000 day record of days that we have spent without a 100 degree mark on there right now. I'm forecasting 98. We'll see if we can get there. There's that relief that I was talking about after a front comes through on Sunday, increasing rain chances, highs back into the 80s. I don't know about you guys, 80 sounds a whole lot better than upper 90s.